Hello YouTube, this is Morgan Airspeed Prime here with my next Avatar merchandise review. In this video, I wanna take a look at this. This is one of the Avatar The Last Airbender tubs. So that's a T-U-B-B-Z, uh, obviously because it is a line of Avatar rubber ducks, basically. Uh, the, these tubs are collectible rubber ducks with the idea that they're cosplaying rubber ducks so this turtle duck doesn't exactly fit in with what the rest of the gimmick is exactly but i think the other ca characters in the wave kind of highlight what's going on here so you can see number one there is ang two is toff three is the cabbage merchant and four is the turtle duck so the idea for most of these is that it is a rubber duck sort of cosplaying as ang Toph, the cabbage merchant. So it's this kind of um, full on transformation process. It's a bit of a kind of odd idea. But for the turtle duck, which is an animal from Avatar, it's less a duck cosplaying as an animal from Avatar and more like it's just a rubber duck version of that animal, which I thought was a very unique and novel idea, very clever. And um, that if you don't like the idea of what tubs are, at the very least, this one offers something as one of the few turtle duck pieces of merchandise. It's a notable animal in Avatar, the turtle duck. Uh, very cute, uh, cool idea. Um, so it being available here is a very cool thing. So the details on these are, is that I'm pretty sure they just released. Uh, I pre-ordered mine and it like shipped at the end of last week, arrived early this week, very quick to arrive. Um, so they've just come out for Avatar. They have been out for other franchises for a while now. Um, I paid, uh, it was like, what, $25 plus shipping for mine. So for what it is, you know, the, the size of it, it's okay, but it's not huge. And it is just like a rubber duck. Um, the pricing is very much with the idea that it's meant to be a kind of collector's item rather than just like a kind of more kind of gimmicky item they're leaning into the idea of it being a collectible hence why because i pre-ordered it i get a first edition version uh, from like the first uh, production run i guess on this figure i don't really know what the uh, idea is beyond that but uh, anyway uh, that explanation out of the way, let's get into looking at the packaging. So you can see here, this is how it's packaged. Um, I think when I took it out of the box, the only other thing on it was just like a plastic strip across the kind of middle where it could be kind of hung up on a shelf, basically. So otherwise, this is the packaging. There was no tape or anything like that on it. So you can just immediately pop this off and open it as we will do in a second. But you can see here, they just have the Avatar logo, tubs. This is number four of the four in the wave. You have the first edition sticker, the listing of the other characters on the back, Tubbs logo on the top, uh, and then on the bottom, we just have the, the kind of barcode and kind of basic uh, Viacom information, that sort of thing. Um, otherwise, um, this is obviously more just like, like literally the packaging. Um, so it's pretty uh, weak plastic, um, but strong enough to be, you know, protective. At uh, the bottom bit, though, how you can see here has the logo printed on it. This is kind of hard plastic. This is uh, kind of part of the set here. It is like this plastic um, small bathtub, basically, to put your rubber duck in, basically. So that is a cute thing with the packaging um, overall there. But let's uh, open this up. So it's pretty simple here. Uh, you just kind of pop the... Um, plastic off it's on relatively tight it's just hard to do a kind of on camera here but you know you just take this off that's just what that bit is there you have a plastic insert there and the turtle duck is in the the bathtub of course it has a plastic insert on the bottom and then all you're left with is your avatar branded mini bathtub here which is kind of nice but anyway we just take off the bottom plastic insert and you are left with the the main event here which is the turtle duck rubber duck which you can see the the size of it here uh briefly here's here it is in comparison to one of the kind of chibi uh avatar figures um here it is in comparison to a funko pop um just to kind of highlight that so um 
So you can see, it, like, that's what it's going for. That's what tubs are basically trying to be. They're trying to be an alternate style of kind of Funko Pop thing. Hence why they are kind of similar sizes. They're trying to be the same sort of style of collectible, ultimately, uh, as Funko Pop. So um, that gives you a sense for what's going on here. Obviously, like I said, the pricing means they're actually quite a bit more expensive than the competition 25 versus like your typical funko pop these days is like 15 basically or or potentially even a little bit less but anyway let's take a close look at the turtle duck and it is a very accurate depiction of the turtle duck if you look up the moments of when we see these on screen in the show they've got the markings and the kind of coloring uh, very uh, nicely done and um, while adjusting the design of course from the show to the kind of proportions of a rubber duck, of course, but um, all the little details are kind of here. You can see there, and there is, of course, the bit that makes it a turtle duck, the shell kind of primarily uh, very nicely done here with the greens, nice contrast. On the bottom, of course, you have the hole, uh, because I believe the idea is that they do float. It's, it's made in a way where, like, it is a somewhat functional rubber duck but my understanding is that they don't stay upright they don't float like across like this because the head is quite detailed and it's like quite solid uh, it's like front heavy I think so the second you put it I think in water from other videos I've seen it basically tips over and I think floats basically on its side like that but it does actually float they're not meant to be put into water because the idea is that it is meant to be a collectible item where the detail is the important bit and um, so he that hence the kind of Funko Pop comparison ultimately and um, so um, th th that's just an interesting kind of uh, detail there but you know I, I think it's it's nicely done and, and if you do look up images uh, closer up of the other ones there is some nice detail to them it's got that kind of I suppose Funko Pop kind of level of uh, sculpting kind of going on with the designs it's just all about do you find the idea of the Avatar characters now as ducks a interesting thing that you want to collect? I would say for me, not really. This one stands out because it's one of the few pieces of Turtle Duck merch that's available. I'm pretty sure the only other one is uh, either coming out or is just released. U2's is putting out a uh, wave of blind kind of boxed um, Avatar animal plushes and included in that wave is a turtle duck that you can get now i don't know what the odds are on them they are i believe quite expensive blind blind bag uh, box uh, plush uh, boxes so they are also leaning quite heavily down the collectible path otherwise i off the top of my head don't remember any other super specific turtle duck merch especially official stuff so um you know, this might be one of your few options to get a relatively cheap just depiction of a turtle duck that you can have on your uh, shelf or, you know, depending on what way you want to display it, you can put it in this because, of course, this is hard plastic, like I said. I, I wouldn't say you really throw this out, especially if you only get one or two. You can just display it like that. Or um, if you use the kind of uh, insert here, I think it keeps it a little bit up off the... Um, yeah, you can see it a little bit better if you kind of keep it in the plastic insert here um, rather than it like sinking in. But I, I suppose if you want to display it slightly, you can just kind of maybe just stack it up a little bit. So maybe it's like this or something like that. Um, there's a couple of options here. You could maybe turn this upside down to make a bit of a platform for it if you want to kind of hold on to this as well. Um, does mean though when you turn it upside down, the logo's upside down, but um, you know, that's just that. So um, that's basically uh, everything I want to talk about with this one. Um, what are your thoughts on these tubs? And I suppose specifically here, the turtle duck one. Do you agree with me that it is the most unique one of the wave? Or are you actually interested in the other characters? Um, the other thing I will maybe slightly be hesitant about when it comes to fully collecting these is just that Avatar, especially recently with its merchandise, has had a history of a lot of companies starting out to do like waves of products, but stopping after maybe just one or two waves. We have very few examples of companies going beyond that. And especially now because we're in a bit of a transition period uh, where we're going from sort of like the 
were off the the fandoms during the kind of like in between period we're building up to the return of avatar with the new animated content that's going to be starting in like 2026 so we're expecting like a full merchandise line basically for avatar in 2025 and i suspect that we will go from having a very very light year this year for avatar like merch outside of books like when it comes to like toys and stuff nothing really happening this year otherwise um i think next year is going to be a bit more substantial especially towards the end and ramping up into the the newer stuff of course um so i kind of wonder is this just a, a random gimmicky thing towards the end or are we going to see tubs actually make avatar stuff going forward because they they it's a pretty light first wave like it's ang toff cabbage merchant and the turtle duck like where's zuko where's katara there's a lot of other characters people would want to see and then even some of the more kind of uh they're doing some obscure characters here they did the turtle duck they did cabbage merchant so not the most main characters i, I think something like maybe a kiyoshi one might be of interest to um fans of the novels and stuff like that but um uh, it's a, I think it's a tough ask maybe for people with the pricing on these to, to go all in on a giant amount of them. But like I said, let me know what your thoughts are on Avatar Tubs and the Turtle Duck. Um, but uh, that, otherwise, that has been the video. Thanks for watching and bye.